welcome to Botany Buddy, the first mobile application of its type for home gardeners and professionals alike. When you launch the app from your phone or iPod Touch, you'll be immediately taken to a home screen that will either ask you to invite a friend or register your device for the first time. This is crucial to the file sharing features of this application. On the same screen, you will find a Twitter feed full of gardening tips, information about the app, and news about Botany Buddy that is tweeted throughout the day. Once you have caught up on your news, you will begin your search by touching the icon at the bottom of the screen. In the search screen, you will find both quick and advanced options. To begin a quick search, enter all or part of a plant's name and touch search on the keyboard. You can also browse by simply entering A. When the results come up, they will be sorted by common name. As you scroll down, you might notice that some of the trees and shrubs are mixed. This is because you don't have a perfect match on the name. By touching the botanical button, you can resort your results by botanical name, which will group the various species together, making them easier to navigate. By touching the arrow to the right, you can move on to the plant detail screen. Here you will find photos and all the information you need to know about the plants, such as their usage, assets, liabilities, the cultural information, and native habitat. You will also find all the information used to create the advanced filters, such as size, exposure, habit bloom, leaf, fall color, and, and much, much more. You can also enlarge any photo in the app to a full screen view by touching on them. You can then return to the plant details by simply touching back. This is very helpful when looking at close-up photos such as leaves and flowers. Another nice feature is the ability to scroll through your results by touching the arrows on either side of the botanical name in the plant detail. This keeps you from having to go back and forth to the thumbnail screen and is great for making comparisons between plants. Don't forget about the results features, these can be very helpful. Now to the advanced search. This is used for identifying a plant in the field or choosing a plant for your garden. When working with filters, you should always start with your zone. You can zoom in on this map to find out where you are. If picking a plant for use, you will enter a range. If identifying a plant, choose where you are. If you are unsure, pick more than one and the app will take care of the rest. There are lots of useful tips behind every filter to help you better understand their use and how they were designed. Simply touch the question mark to pull them up. Once you are done in a filter, touch back to choose another. Each filter has photos or symbols to help you understand what they mean. On any filter, as with the zone, if you can't decide between the options, pick more than one. We've accommodated for that in the programming. The terminology and selections in the filters, while detailed, may vary from other botanical references as they have been simplified to accommodate for the home user. Behind each thumbnail in the filters are additional photos if you need more clarification. And of course, all the photos in this app may be blown up to a single screen view. Just like the options within the filters, the more filters you choose, the fewer results you will get. If you are not seeing what you want, remove a filter and you will get more options. Height and width are marked with wheels. The strategies here are similar to that of the zones. Don't be afraid to use the tips to guide you through these processes. They're very helpful.
Once you've selected all your filters, touch Submit Search. Now that you have identified a plant, you can add a photo to that plant detail with the icon in the upper right hand corner. If you are on a phone, you can use your camera. If you are on a touch, you may upload the file. You can also create collections of plants. By touching the plus sign, you can add any plant to a collection. To make a new collection, just touch the button and type in a name. You can create as many collections as you like, and you can share them with other Botany Buddy users. From the collections page, just touch the person icon and it will pull up your contacts or existing buddies to share with. Enter their name and a message will be sent letting them know the collection is waiting for them. If they are not already users, this message will include a link to become one. You can make as many buddies as you like and share as often as you want. Thanks and we hope you enjoy sharing this with your buddies.